Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I thought I would talk about jellyfish. So to put this video in context, I was recently on a trip to Malta where I did all the wonderful sightseeing and was checking out the limestone which I'll link down below last week's video if you'd like to learn a little bit more about the geology on the island and kind of all their building stones and what they use for construction because there's plenty of fossils in that. But I also did a lot of snorkeling and swimming and was checking out the marine environments of Malta. Now in doing so, I came across a large amount of jellyfish. Now it sounds scary, but luckily these were non-venomous ones. And it gave me the idea of why don't I make a video all about jellyfish? And there's a reason behind this because many people don't actually know, but jellyfish existed way before dinosaurs even came into the picture. So we're talking 500 million years ago was the first documented appearance of a jellyfish. And I'm sure you're sat there thinking, but jellyfish are soft body organisms. They've got no bones. They certainly don't have any backbones. They're invertebrates. They're 95% water. How on earth do they preserve as fossils? And now they are very rare, but in certain extreme and exceptional cases, we get the preservation of these sorts of creatures. And I'll put some photos on the screen now so you can see. And we have these wonderful examples. Most of these were from Utah, but there are a few sites around the world where they have been found by paleontologists where jellyfish have actually been preserved in the fossil record. So this might have been due to, you know, a storm happening and some jellyfish getting washed up and they then get buried by the sand and they're then forever preserved within sandstone. So let's talk a little bit about jellyfish morphology for a second. So I've touched on it briefly, but a jellyfish isn't actually a fish like its name would suggest. It's an invertebrate that doesn't have a backbone. Now when I say it doesn't have a backbone, it actually doesn't have any bones for that matter. And it also doesn't have a brain, doesn't have a heart, and has no blood in it whatsoever. And it's made up of 95% water. So it has a very simple digestive system and it has a cavity which acts as a mouth, so it will use this for eating, but it will also use this for expelling waste as well, which is slightly gross if you apply it to humans, but for jellyfish, that's just normal. So obviously they are made up of a lot of water, which can make them pretty invisible in the water column, but jellyfish vary a lot. And this is in terms of their shape, their color, their size, whether they're venomous or not. So some are very, very tiny. We're talking a couple of millimeters. And then some get absolutely humongous, reaching about 120 foot, which is equivalent to four school buses to put it in perspective. Some are able to be invisible, so being 95% water, in certain kind of angles, they'll be completely translucent. Some can be super colorful, some are very venomous, and then some are super friendly, like the yellow ones I was playing with in Malta. Jellyfish are in fact on the rise. Now this is due to the world getting warmer, as their number one predator is the sea turtle, and the sea turtle numbers are unfortunately diminishing due to this warming, so jellyfish are able to increase quite a lot. So here's just some cool footage of sea turtles just eating a nice jellyfish as a snack. So they would just munch on these jellyfish like it's literally candy floss. <laughs> Here you can see me swimming with a whole bunch of these yellow jellyfish in Malta. Now these are quite friendly and if they do brush past you or you brush past them as they're just kind of chilling and pulsating in the water, so chances are if they touch you, you're the one swimming into them or the currents are swimming them into you. But they feel like velvet. They were so soft to touch and they almost look like an alien kind of plant. Like having watched Avatar, I feel like quite a few of the plants were inspired by jellyfish because if you actually look into their sort of tentacles and just their membrane. It's so unusual with the little purple dots. They were really spectacular to see. And they're called the egg yolk jellyfish because if you actually look on the top of them, it looks like a yellow egg yolk, which I think is just such a cool name um, to give them. So if you're looking kind of out of the water at them dotted around, it just looks like egg yolks, just all in the ocean, which is just amazing. And they do move in groups. So as you can see around me, there is just so many of these everywhere. And they're just, just chilling around. So it was a really amazing thing to kind of see for my own eyes. Um, I wasn't expecting so many jellyfish and at first I was pretty scared of them because my initial thought, bright yellow with purple dots, these are gonna be stingers. I'm not going to be able to snorkel, like I've gotta be able to dodge all these jellyfish. But they were actually just 
yeah, very calm, had no interest in me, but also weren't, in, uh, weren't not interested in me. So it was just an amazing thing to see amongst all the other wildlife, but obviously it is a result of other things going on, but I'll save all that for another video. The jellyfish do move in groups, which is why there's such a huge quantity of them around. Now this could be due to the wind, the current direction, all of these factors play a part and they just kind of move in groups. And sometimes in Malta, depending on the time of year or the weather, you'll get stingers that come in in the same like quantities. So you just have to make sure you're aware of your different species and if you do go to Malta and do any snorkeling or scuba diving, you'll be with experts who'll be able to tell you, ah, don't touch those ones or these guys are friendly, so all is good. But that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed coming along with my little jellyfish video and how it does actually go all the way back in the fossil record over 500 million years ago. So a lot of people probably didn't know that jellyfish are in fact a lot older than dinosaurs and came way before. So I thought it'd be a fun video to kind of share a bit about their history, a bit about how they relate to the geological record and then throw in some modern examples as well. So I hope you're all doing well. I'll link down below my social media if you'd like to follow me on there. But thank you again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.